time for another big, meaty, unknown project in the form of this Electrolux Turbomatic Z380 Electronic with Turbo Boost. I've had this for many, many years now. They think I've ever plugged it in and turned it on. I'm pretty sure the bloke told me before that it made a horrible noise when it ran so we had that to look forward to and we best have a look at what else might be wrong with it let's have a look Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, we have a premium cylinder vacuum cleaner today, complete with slidey buttons and pushy buttons with power button there. Called Rewind here, which does work very well indeed. We'll have a close look at the machine in a minute. Best have a crack at the tools first and it's it's baggy really this is actually i think brown it's not black i don't know how well it's going to come up on the camera but it is you know the standard starter floor tool that is fairly familiar it's i don't know really like you can see daylight through it in certain ways and it's just very loose and i think it'll be fine for demonstrations and you know pictures but it, it, it works very well. I reckon it will it'll be all right, but probably not the best. Oh, ow! Yes, and like all of them of this style, getting it back down is a pain. Oh, nice single piece wand. Yeah, not too bad. Nylon bush is there. That is very nice to have. And oh, and then we come to the hose. No, it starts off bad anyway because this is torn and in two pieces and i think i might have a spare but i think i might have used it on an electrolux 330 so i don't know but we then have a hose and then terminates into this mess here which obviously goes on to the hose end which is the genuine original hose end this bit is cracked on there the suction control slider is missing most of its stuff and the end has just been abused to heck. The whole thing just needs cutting off at that angle. So yeah, it's a good start so far on the machine. Um, oh, yeah, there's the hole in the hose. We'll just tuck that back in there like a mysterious lump <sighs> that you find in the shower. Right, let's have a closer look at the machine itself, which on the face of it seems very nice indeed. We have ourselves, I don't think it's quite age appropriate, but a very nice micro mark, obviously shielded, or oh, bent shielded pins as well. <laughs> Looking at that, oh great. There we go, look, bent shielded pins. It's also quite faded, but I'm, I'm really not going to retro like this. I don't think it's just a bit too modern so yeah that's there I'm, I'm, I'm hoping the cord rewind works that well when i get into it as you may have noticed yes there is a crevice tool poking out of the front the goodies should continue because in here hopefully isn't a massive spider nib but is a dusting brush yay nice genuine electrolux dusting brush there in actually impeccable condition so yeah full set of tools ish straight out of the bag this would have had a turbo head which i don't have then we have ourselves a filter and that's it really the rest is just in here and the guy said it made weird noises when he last turned it on many years ago that motor doesn't look completely central in this little house maybe it's fine i guess ah, we'll find out shortly it also seems to be able to be closed without a bag in it which may be fine i presume it's fine we'll pretend it's fine then yeah bar that on the top yeah we have our bag full indicator light 
off there, a turbo boost light there, a slidey control, Oof, bit bit scratchy there, and under here is a you know impeccably clean and healthy post motor filter which we'll leave in there, and then yeah all the exhaust air comes out of here. Now it all seems solid in there, and yeah I've never turned it on. This is the bit I've been putting off really. Oh, I guess we're going to have to play the how much will it explode when we turn it on game. Oh, we've got lots of nice cable ready. I don't know if it's on or off. guess we'll find out. Oh. No, who knows? I mean, if it doesn't turn on at all, we've got to think of something else anyway. Right, try to tell me if you see anything. Nothing. Ah. Oh, we're going to play this game, are we? Oh, that cable rewind is so beautiful. Ah, right, let's play this game. Step one, let's check the fuse. I knew this was going to be one of those videos. It's why I've been putting it off. Our fuse is fine. Now I guess I'm quite lucky in that I have a copy of the official exploded diagram. So we roughly know that we have to go in from the top. And if we oh, take this off, we do indeed have four screws. And if we also take off, I hope it comes off. Come on, we've got, it's got to come off. This handle inner piece. There's two screws under it. Ah, there it goes. Ha ha! Going backwards, yet yeah, let's take all of these out. Then I'm going to assume we will open this. Ah. Probably should pull some cable out. How are you coming out? Does this need to... I mean, the problem with these diagrams, of course, is it tells you the bits to do, but it doesn't exactly tell you what you have to do. Uh, it didn't break. It did break. Might have already been broken. Okay. Well, it sits there. That's fine. Hello. Ooh. Right. I think that just sits in there, the same as this one. There was a date code book, 1986. Hello, immediately to you. Oh, right. Wow, this is scary and interesting. Let's, let's just do a checkpoint and then we'll carry on. The next thing that we should probably check on our scary journey is the switch. Yeah, that's fine. That's a shame. Ah, we need to carry on. I, I do think that this scary noise was probably where we need to go. So let's take out this PCB here. Very 1980s electronic looking. I don't think that's going to be the problem, but we're going to need it out of the way. Oh, pull these through. We'll take, oh that switch comes out, this turbo boost switch, oh gosh, look at that look, cutting edge, scary, very scary. I am so scared, because now we need to, ah, we need to get everything out now folks. I feel like a complete fool. I didn't see this. Dang it. Probably didn't need to do most of that. 
what's under door number two. Oh look, our motor, how lovely. And a dead wasp, how lovely as well. Right, I do have the mighty CD on standby. Right, this is where we need to be. Still very scary though. <laughs> That's very scary. And that actually looks just like a dolphin. Called Rewind. We're just gonna go straight for the jugular here. I'm getting a little bit little bit bored of playing around. We're gonna go straight for the motor, I think. Yeah, dolphin reel. It's not even tension. Okay, hello. Oh, this has all got to come out as one. Ah, here we go. Oh, I can't go anywhere with it. All we actually need is you. Oh, hello. There's there's some chunky bits in there. Ah, oh my goodness. Okay, so our motor, as disgusting as it is, does spin. There's nothing seemingly too wrong with it. Perhaps it might be a tad stiff. The reefer has blown or is about to blow. Ah, brilliant. And, and I'm still not really sure why it didn't fire up in the first place so what i think at this juncture i'm going to do is i'm going to desuppressor this or yeah i'm going to desuppressor this put it back together and we'll try again now knowing that at least the motor you know isn't physically broken that'll be a good start well through a little bit of trial and error we have lost tiny part of the mains flex. However, it sort of works. I don't quite know why it's stopping there. And it sounds slightly iffy as well but it runs it runs you know okay <laughs> bless it now again i think it's yeah that probably what the noise was hopefully that's just the bearings we can sort that out the next thing that we have to really do is find it a back oh so annoying and pop it up. Let's use my multimeter box to do the second part. And we're going to struggle greatly to do this properly because here we have some automatic 345, 330 bags. And they, they almost do fit actually, but they're not correct. They will sit on there, but you know, the fact that they're not correct means that we're not going to bother doing it at all and I'm just going to fit a meter bag. problem fixed that will have opened up very nicely indeed and we'll do from now until I can work out what bags it needs right next we need to sort the hose followed by just a quick tidy up with a file so that I don't cut myself on the burrs I 
and voila, with it sorting out its own swarf, I think that will class as done. Ta-da! How lovely. That's just this mess to sort out now. Let's see what's underneath door number three. Oh. And then of course, in the way that you can on these hoses, we'll just untwist from the original end. There we go, look, we'll cut here because it started for us. And now that we have our toolkit repaired, our vacuum cleaner working fantastically, we're going to put the hose on. This seal seems to be doing an all right job as it is, so that's good. And I'm, the more I look at this, I'm wondering if this hose is dark brown as well, or if it's just filth. Who knows when it lasts long enough to clean the rug. That's all right. Oh, that's just turn. Hey, there it goes. Haha. <laughs> didn't actually take out the reefer because it was a three wire reefer and I was waiting for it to go that's good then we can carry on I was about to say we've got too much power but of course we do have our issues bless its little heart but hey it does run <coughs> oh blimey oh dear oh dear oh dear Still, it was to be expected, and I'm glad it's happened now, because I think I'm going to have to keep it in there, unless I can re remember how to dewire a three wire into a two. I'm assuming I just bridge two wires. We may have a crack at it. I think that's how one of my other ones works. We need to work out the slidey control. That could be anything from dirty contacts to it's completely broken. We don't know, but... At a basic level, it is working. The floor head, despite being quite rattly and wobbly, seems to be absolutely fine. And yeah, the hose is now airtight once more. And beneath its disgusting exterior, oh, lies the beating heart of a nice vacuum, I think. So, stay tuned. The next thing you will see of this, it will be done, dusted, and hopefully working as Electrolux intended all the way back in the mid-1980s. So let me know if you've got one of these and what you think of it, and yeah, we'll go from there really. Thank you very much for watching, and I and this will see you soon. Bye-bye.